Hi, my name is Corey Dillon. Welcome to this week's Rock City Thunder Game of the Week. As a team, you guys are doing some special things out there. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's just been really great playing with us, uh, all these guys. You know, we've been playing for forever with each other. And we just have a sense of team unity. It's just so nice. You know, we all feel like we're family. We all got each other's backs. Does it make it that much more special knowing that, you know, it's pretty much your team has been the only ones kind of counting you guys in all year. There's other people been kind of doubting you. And now all of a sudden you're proving them people wrong. How's that feel? It feels pretty good. I mean, I definitely like that about us. Because nobody thought we were going to do good. And, you know, I just like going out and proving people wrong. Get there. How big a win was that last Friday against Leroy, a team they haven't beaten in 36 years? It's a big game, but still got to play for next week. Just look forward. Speaking of next week, we got Cal Mum Friday night. Huge game with uh, sexual implications. Uh, whoever loses this game could have a problem getting in. Talk about how big a game this is for you and the Perry Yellow Jackets. Well, it's a big game, but like they've always been a good team. We just got to go out, play our game, rely on each other, play as a team. Should be fine. Get in there! Get in there! That's it. Keep blocking! Is there some things this Friday night against Cal Mum that concern you about the Red Raiders? Well, they've always been a good team. I'm sure they'll come out firing. I mean, they just came off a loss, so what do they have to lose? They're going to come out. It's their homecoming. They'll play well. I'm sure of it. Terry, talk about the game Friday night with Perry coming to town. Obviously, they've been doing some special things over there. This is a huge game for them, but also a huge game for you guys. Talk about that. Uh, this upcoming Friday, playing Perry. It's a big game for us. We uh, we respect them. We know that they just came off a big win against Leroy. We know we got to come out really hitting hard. It's uh, definitely my mentality. Knock them over, you know. We know they got some men out there. They're, they're going to be ready. We know it. You know, talk about how, uh, you know, sectional implications now. Obviously, you guys had a great start at 4-0, lost a tough one last week to a talented Avon team. But this is a big bounce-back game for you guys. Talk about how how important it is to you guys to get this W. Well, we know it's important. We all, we're all we all focused since, you know, since Friday night at 10.30. We've all been mind-focused on this Friday. This is our, this is the game we're calling back. Go! Okay. Mike Nevinger, talk about uh, Perry coming to town Friday. Obviously a huge game for you guys. Yeah, they got a really good team. We've been tra practicing really hard, trying to get ready for them. They pass a lot, so trying to get all our coverages down and everything. You know, obviously you got a homecoming game. This is a big festivity type weekend. You know, how important is it to get the W on a, on a game that means so much on homecoming? Well, we really need it because you know, got to get in there to sectionals, and this is a big game for us in there. You need at least one of these next two to get that sectional berth. Talk about how important this game and Leroy is coming up after that. Yeah, definitely two big teams, good teams this year, and two important wins for us. They're both going to be tough to win, but just got to keep going harder and we'll make it. You know, talk about you know how big a win that was over Leroy, something that no Perry's done, team has done in 36 years. How special was that for you guys? Oh, it was a special win, of course, because we grew up playing, and we haven't beat Leroy in a while. It was a good win for the community. Offensively, I mean, is it fair to say that this offense is like on another level right now? Oh, we're clicking right now. We're doing, playing pretty good. We know what our, like, what our routines now, like what we expect of each other. And uh, red fifteen, red fifteen, hit. Dave, big huge win Friday against Leroy. Talk about how special that was for you personally and for this Perry program. It was a big win just because all of us have playing together for. The past three years and we work as a team we, you, if you saw us on the field we put our our arms around each other on that last drive and we stuck together as a family and pushed through everything you know talk about this week this friday night at caledonia obviously it's been 36 years since you beat leroy it's probably been a few years since you beat cal mum as well talk about how special this game will be for you guys uh, it's a special game especially being their homecoming they're going to be coming out firing and we just got to match it and give more, I guess. That's a big game Friday, Perry coming to town. Homecoming, great festivities, great atmosphere. Talk about how big a game this is for Cal Mom. Uh, You know, we're taking it week by week to us. It's, right now it's just another game. Big opponent, obviously. It's a must win here. So uh, we're coming out working hard every day. 
like we always have. Man. Talk about some of the things at Perry. They're surprising a lot of people. What are some of the things that you're seeing on film with Perry? You know, they got a lot of uh, a lot of weapons out there. Uh, a lot of stuff we have to prepare for. A lot of stuff we got to stop. But uh, you know, we've been we've been working hard out here, and we're ready. Keep moving. That's it. Coach Olson, talk about you know last last week's win over Leroy and how special that was to your program. Well, that was a big one. Uh, they tell me it's been 36 years since we beat them, so uh, we knew coming. In, we had an idea coming in that we could maybe pass the ball against them, um, and it seemed to, to be what worked for us. Um, we just we tried to pump the kids up and get them as confident as they could be throughout the week, and and they walked in confident and they took care of business, which was good. Now, obviously, you go on to a, a, a very tough venue this week in Hamilton yeah. Sports Complex where yeah. the Red Raiders will be waiting for a Friday night matchup. Huge sexual implications for them. If they lose this week and also lose to Leroy next week, yeah. they could be out. You're right. This is a bigger game for them, or is it a big game for you as well? Talk about that. I think it, it's, it goes both ways here. Um, again, we're trying to trying to get as high the highest seed we can get uh, in the sectionals, and again, we're trying to string together a couple more wins here, end the season on a good note, and go into and roll into the sectionals. So this one is as important for us as it is for them. Ready, go! All right, all right. A loss this week would really hurt your sectional hopes. With Leroy the following week, you know, talk about how this is where the kind of your schedule really starts. Perry and Leroy, talk about how fun this is. Oh, it's it's a ton of fun. It's a it's a lot of fun. Every practice out here, that intensity. But uh, right now we're just taking it game by game and looking at the opponent that's ahead of us right now. Talk about, you know, your experience with the Red Raider tradition. Obviously, this is a family atmosphere. How important is that to you to be a part of this family? It's everything to us. Uh, the whole team, everybody on the team, it's everything to us. You know, sticking together, playing as a team, uh, it means a lot. And that tradition, it's great to be able to carry it on. Talk about how special it is to be a part of the Red Raider tradition. Oh, it's great. I love it. You know, ever since I was, you know, C team, as young as I could be in football, I've never had a helmet on playing Caramel football. Real nice tradition. Talk about how special it is to kind of play for Coach Walter and some of the, you know, obviously some of the things he's been going through this year has been kind of tough on him, but how how's it been playing for Coach Walter? Coach Walter, I really like him. Great coach. Uh, you know, he's taught us all a lot. I feel like he's, uh, he's uh, you know, he's really put something special with the team. He's brought something special to us.